Assalamu alaikum, how are you guys? Today I'm going to make gula kebab. This recipe is very simple and very easy to follow. I'm using chicken keema but you can use beef or mutton keema as well for this recipe. Uh, for this I'm going to start with my chicken cubes. I have taken boneless chicken. First I'm going to make the mince out of this chicken. If you are using uh, already made keema then there is no, no need for this step. Right, the keema should look like this. Now I'm repeating the same step until I have made my keema for all the chicken. To that, I'm adding fried onion, one cup or two fried onions, three tablespoons ginger garlic paste. Two green chilies, five tablespoons basin or chickpea flour. Here is my haradhaniya and mint. This is like around three tablespoon, three tablespoon each. It's mint and it's coriander chopped. Garam masala, one and half tablespoon garam masala. Cumin powder or zira powder, one tablespoon. Black pepper, one teaspoon. Meat tenderizer, one teaspoon. You can either add kachap or pita if you have. Red chili powder, one teaspoon. If you like it more spicy, then you can add up to one tablespoon red chili powder. Salt, two teaspoons. Finally, oil, two tablespoons. I am taking olive oil. You can add vegetable oil as well. Cheddar cheese, half cup. Cheese is totally optional. If you want to omit the cheese, you can totally remove the cheese from the recipe. But this gives a very unique cheesy flavor to the kebabs. Mix everything all together. And now mix this to the remaining keema. When our mixture is ready, we have to put it into fridge for at least 30 minutes. This is for my nation. After 30 minutes, we have to smoke the mixture. For that, I am taking my hot charcoal koila, which is very very hot. Now put some oil. It will create a smoke. We have to cover it for at least 5 minutes. Then remove the lid and you can smell the smokiness from it. It's really, it's really nice. I'm just removing the charcoal. Now the next step is we have to make our kebabs. For that I'm taking a skewer, applying some oil on it, now taking a handful of mixture. Press it on top of the skewer and shape it like a gola kebab. You have to gently press it. When it's done, you have to remove it from the screw and put it in a dish. Now repeat the step for all the kebabs. Now there are two ways to cook these kebabs. One is you can grill them and the other is shallow fry. So you can cook either way and if the taste is really perfect for both ways so first i'm gonna grill this kebab in my oven for about 15 to 20 minutes so, or you can make them on the 
a charcoal grill as well like a barbecue thing uh, it tastes, tastes really amazing on that as well so uh, i'm gonna come back when it's cooked now these are cooked kebabs you can see it's really nice you uh, my camera is not picking up the color but it's looks really nice the other method is shallow fry in the pan for that i'm taking two tablespoon oil when the oil is heated up i'm just gonna add my kebabs in it While kebabs are frying, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video, share this video with your, with your friends and family. In, your, in the comment section below, please tell me if you have any question or query about this video or any other thing and what the next video you want to see. While they are frying, don't press them, just lightly turn them so they cook properly evenly from all the sides. It will take around 4 to 5 minutes to cook them. When they are golden brown from each side, just take them off. Put the kebab in a freezer bag and freeze them. They can be frozen for up to 3 months. Whenever you want to defrost them, just take out from the freezer and put straight in your microwave for about 2.5 minutes. And they will be same like as fresh. So if you like my video, please like it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.